a podcast from producer paul.co.uk. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. How you been anyway? You all right? Yeah, not good. bad. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, week's yeah. Been, been good, man. I've been, uh, I've been, yeah, I've been, I've got my creative juices back now in the studio, so right. I've, I'm, and I've, it's been gone for a good month, man, so it feels good. <laughs> I've got my power back. I feel, yes. I feel, it's good, man. And man, when you find that spark again, man, you just, I don't know, it just, everything changes. The outlook, everything's good. You're not like skipping down the road. <laughs> hey, <laughs> then, bro, good, yeah. I don't know, it's just a vibe, man. So yeah, I'm just, just rejoicing in it, man, and just excited about uh yeah, it's coming next, basically. But it goes. But it's the thing is, it goes like that, and it goes like that for all all creative people, whatever you're doing. I remember reading an interview with, I mean, it was Noel Gallagher, and he was talking about he'd had a chat with Paul Weller, and he'd said like it was talking about like when it goes, like because Paul Weller famously for years lost his mojo, lost his this that, and the other, and then one day it came back, and then Noel Gallagher was going like like what you do, and he's like just don't chase it, you just got to let it. Just to just accept, just try and get your head around the fact that it will come back at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. And that, but the trouble is, when it goes, you go, "Well, that's me fucked. I'm never." I know it, it's it's mad. <laughs> Even to this level, like, doesn't matter what stage you're at your career, like. You still think, oh my god, I can't do it anymore. Maybe that's as far as I'm gonna go. Maybe my head can't <laughs> handle it anymore. Like, and then like something will happen. Like you'll play a show, or yeah, that's mainly what happens. I think when you play a really fucking sick show, like, and then you're just like, yo, man, like I feel the power. The power has come back. I need to, and then you just get inspired, like to 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 get back yeah. on that train, and that's that's when the be- the most beautiful content comes out, man. Because you're just like you're at home thinking about like, oh yeah, do you know that idea? Like oh, I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna use that from, and you go soon. You gas, you gas to kind of do it again, man, and that's. Yeah, you, you remind yeah. yourself, like, fuck me, man. This is why I love this. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, it's the same with what I do. Like, I'm a comedian the rest of the time. And then if I have a, I have a run of shit gigs, then I'm like, mate, I'm not funny anymore. This is bullshit. What am I going to do? Yeah. And then it, I, it takes me, it takes a while and I get annoyed with myself. And then, so the next gig, because I'm annoyed, I go out there, guns blazing. I'm like, fucking boom. And then I was like, yeah, oh, mate. Yeah, all right. And they go, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, it's a good feeling, man. When you get like, it's like, yes, you can give it, you know, like on the, yeah, like Paddy McGuinness show, and it get the, the power is in your hands, man. Like, you get it back, man. It feels, it feels good. And then you feel like you, your purpose is back. You're like, yeah, you're strutting out there. It's over there. Yeah, I killed that, you know, like, but it's a good feeling. That's what we do this for. I mean, when you find a passion that makes you feel like that, apart from like, love of a person, do you know what I mean? It's a different yeah. kind of vibe, like it's something else. To, it's your purpose in it in life, man. Like and that's that's yeah, it's it's amazing. It's amazing if you find that and you can keep doing it for a living, man. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's a very that's the thing as well. I remind myself how privileged we are to do what we do. You know, there's a, a lot living, of people you know. under us, like do you know what I mean, yeah. still in bedrooms, probably writing you know, for gigs or maybe not even started I mean, it's this, yeah. It's a, it's a long, it's a long stint, man. You know what I mean? You got there's, there's loads of foundations and different levels you got to go through to get to it. Like you got to devote your life. You got to be obsessed in it, like with, yeah. with trying to yeah, yeah, get yeah. your story across. You know what I mean, whatever that, <laughs> whatever that way is. But um, well, this yeah. is it. I have these conversations with people, and like, like for example, coming up, I've got a big day coming up, getting married. Oh, uh, when this comes man. out, yeah, thanks, man. But the next day. I'm I'm off. I'm off gigging. I've got a really? gig. I've got to drive. I've got to get up early. Go to Manchester. I'm doing this and the other. I've got to record this live show, and everyone's like, "Well, what about your honeymoon?" I'm like, "I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got that one day where I'm getting married. I'll get on a honeymoon later on, and I'm not being a prick." <laughs> is your missus uh, come with you? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, a comedian yeah. as well, so she. Oh, gets sick, it. is it? So, oh, yeah. Okay, go. Oh, you're blessed then, because like I said that, that's tough. Bro. You might have to pull some strings. We're gonna, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a world tour, babe. I promise. Like, <laughs> I promise. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you everywhere because <laughs> that's tough getting out of that man going to work. I know my missus would hate that, bro. But <laughs> if comedians, we've also got common ground in it. So. Oh, cool. Well, this is it. Like you say, you. I mean, you have to find. You, you mean I couldn't. I couldn't just fuck off forever. The rest, yeah. I have to find some stepping stones in between all the work on it. But yeah, yeah. on the whole, just, it, and it, had it not been a big deal, the gig that I've got to go and do, then she would have, then I wouldn't have gone. But because it's it's a proper thing, I'm like, I have to, I'm gonna have to go. And she's like, Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. It's not like I'm doing like the chuckle bucket. Down yeah, yeah, like, I hear you, I hear you. It's a big deal, man. <laughs> yeah, fair, that that would just elevate that whole uh, wedding day even more. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're married, then you'll smash a gig. Like what? Like I'm back. Like <laughs> still with dressed in my wedding suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be sick, man. But when you when you get married, say. Uh, so we're getting married on Monday. So, oh, fucking hell, yeah, mate. Yeah, wow, yeah. literally, bro. Oh, man. Oh, oh, sick, man. Congrats, bro. Thank you very much, man. Let's first. get back to you. This this is all about you, man. This is all about you. Um, and I've been looking at your stuff. and like, You got started when you were 14. Yeah, That's bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I just... I've, 
someone from London moved down to Bedford, which is where I'm from. Right. And, and I, I just I remember we went to school together and he, he had like um, a Walkman, like tapes and that for you younger. You probably know what they are. <laughs> but, but yeah, and he had this he had drum and bass on. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Anyway, I, he got me into it anyway from there. And I just got in, just well interested in just the mixing. He had a pair of 12, uh, not 12 tens of them, Jesus. I think they were IMGs or something, like some some any dead belt drive decks like that you get first. Like, and then yeah, yeah, like, yeah. just literally I ended up buying a pair and then got like a selection of vinyl that my mate gave me that was like, I got like addicted to bass, like Friday by Dr. Dre, just random things, a couple of trance tunes or whatever. And I was just like, just like, yeah, besotted with this, this trying to figure out what the fuck, how to mix these. At first, you know what I mean? You do the, you do the bait little jiggy, jiggy, jiggy thing. thing. Every, yeah. every person does that when they get on the decks. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then when you start to get more into it, I don't know, like I just, just, just found that when you start beat matching and stuff, and then, I don't know, I just got obsessed with it. Like, and because I think everyone I chilled with then, God was into it as well. It's kind of part of, yeah, just part of growing up. Do you know what I mean? Everyone, we, yeah. that, was, that was a good, good, I mean, at least 10 DJs or, or MCs or whatever that did that kind of shit. So, I mean, you go to their houses, you, yeah, and just have yeah. little mixes and that and fuck around and, and it would be just ingrained in life. And I suppose then that just becomes like the birth of of maybe this obsession of kind of going, do you know what? I actually want to do this, isn't it? Like not just yeah. like fuck around for a couple of years and maybe play in a pub like for once or twice. I actually want to do this full full time, I want to make this. And yeah, I, I just took it seriously from then. And obviously as you as the more you get into it, you kind of see your friends that were like your real tight ones starting to do normal jobs and stuff. Oh, yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe your mum and dad are like kind of like, is this a this is a phase, you know, this is a phase, man. Like <laughs> Uh, and then yeah, I, I just I just went from school to to college to do music, music technology. So I, I was like, fuck it, I, this is the only thing I'm really fucking with, like in school that I want to see. That this, this I don't know, this enjoying to me. Like so, let's pursue this and see what's happening. And yeah, I did that. I went to went to Bedford College, got a, uh, um, and then I went to uni as well. And then I got a degree. So I got a degree, a foundation degree in music technology, um, yeah. which yeah, in them three years I did learn a lot. Like a lot of it goes out the window when you go into the real world. But I mean, in regards to the business side, yeah. like for me, that was really something I think that made me uh, stand up a little bit against, me. Well, give me a head start, let's say, maybe against some, of some other kind of up and coming artists, because I already had like an idea of how to monetize it or how to basically grow it and do it. I don't know, make it more professional. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I, was, I was always in my in my grains to kind of uh, yeah to, to make it. I mean, go tax registered, do all all and all yeah. the legit things in it. I wanted to make sure it's a business, sign up company's house, all of that. Um, <laughs> That's all the, all the shit bits that come with ne that now come with being a, a creative. Yes, you have man. to you have to take care of that side of things as well. Otherwise, you ain't, going, you ain't going anywhere. <laughs> do you know what? Uh, for, for creatives, like I don't know, I'll probably speak for the, for everyone, like. They, if for me that kind of shit like doing any admin kind of stuff is like so destroying for me like no, I, hate, I hate it actually makes me like it makes me feel stupid i'm like <laughs> I, just, I don't know my, my brain just can't handle it man like even just copying i don't know just accounts down or something just anything but do you know what like that was all part of parcel of when i went full time like um I, I, obviously that's the, when you're self-employed it's all on you man so you yeah. have to literally like do everything in it so that was something i had to do for a while i hated it man but even now i still keep all my receipts i still obviously i still obviously set, I, it's different now you send a picture to to an app and it's done <laughs> do you know what i mean back then i had to copy them up onto a onto an excel spreadsheet and and it was cool it worked out all my profits and all that stuff but it, i hated it bro. i hated it and if yeah. i did if i did that on a day i couldn't go back to them making a tune or, or getting sorry creative i'd have to just have an admin day because it used to fucking just send me <laughs> just, I don't know. You should do something to me. You know, l l luckily now I've got someone, I'm paying someone to handle that kind of shit, <laughs> which is obviously a bonus of when you do grow as an artist, you just get people to do the stuff that you're not very good at, which means you can excel at what you're good at. And that's yes. obviously, that's the greatest thing about having a team around you that supports you. Cause, and that's, that's something as well that I think we all learn if you're self-employed, that like you think, yeah, I want to do it my way. It's only me. I don't need anyone else. And then you try and take on too many things and then you you just you just crash and you realize you know what man I, well, yeah if when you've got a team around you believe in you that sees your vision that 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 yeah wants to see you win and can yeah. accelerate and help that growth by like their contacts or whatever they need to do like just that that's amazing man and then, and then you feel even more powerful because you've got not just one person that believes in this you've got like five or six people that are backing your shit fully and you're seeing things actually get better and you're like yeah. yo man these men are actually actually doing their job like really well like and it's and it's and then it just instills 
yeah, just more confidence in each other's abilities. Yeah. And it just brings the best out of you. It's nice. And the fact I know I can just have that handled, like while I'm while I'm making tunes, like all my other boring stuff is getting is getting sorted <laughs> out. Like I've got a WhatsApp group that's going off about fifty messages, but like it's cool, it's cool. They're they're sorting it. Like they just notify me what's going on. But it's just a beautiful thing because I can say that kind of stuff takes up a lot of time, like a lot of effort, like, and, and, and yeah. when you're creative, man, like you would have used in that as much as you can. <laughs> they're right in the right place. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just want to message like, like, like you just said, I just want to message to go, by the way, that's been taken care of. It's that's it. Yeah. You got, you got, you got to pay this. You go, all right. Let's, or let's you, yeah, 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 exactly. Just like that, man. And, and yeah. do you know what? That, that's, that's hard to find, but I do, yeah. I don't big up my team enough, man. It's not even just my management. I, like, I've got like a, an advancing team who do all like my shows and, uh, I don't know, like the, the uh, logistics and stuff from all my shows and that. They're amazing. Like they're they're fucking so sick. Like obviously my agent Tom, who works for United Talent. Like they're right. another. It's just like there's so many different parties all all working together, like seamlessly, like behind closed doors. Which again, yeah. you, I've just got. I've even got an app, like which is amazing, which has got all my bits in, so I can just click on the date. It's got my flights. So it says it's got my flights in my boarding passes. Where I've got to go, the numbers have got to ring. Everything, bruv. Like so I, I, again, I, it's mad. Like to think, like I would have to always, I would have to do it myself about ten years ago. Like all yeah. of that. Like what time do you want me there, bruv? All right, cool. What's the postcode? I need to work out if I can get to. So, I mean, all of that, man. Like it's mad. You, just, you, you need to appreciate and be be grateful man that uh that yeah you got a good team around you man because they definitely help the acceleration man so yeah of course time, i mean so, yeah. but that's all that's what you've earned that that's the thing is you work really hard like you just said like you, like 10 years ago you had to do it yourself yeah and then you and you stuck the work in and you grafted and you got to a point now where you could go right and it all these now you've got these people around you and so you've earned that you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. not just been it hasn't just hasn't just been handed to you I think as well. I think I think you you, you learn as well from uh, just like laying the foundations because I, because it's been like a case that some people get like a bit of a bring in, like not even being bad, but if you have got no someone in the scene or you, whatever, like some people can get like a little step up. But like for me, because I literally went from I don't know, just thinking, fuck it, I'm going to do this, handing out CDs to people, just like the proper old school way of getting about, like going to raves, like falling in love with the music, basically meeting, knowing the whole kind of rave in that sense, and mm. then like going into room two, and then obviously evolving from there so it's just 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 because i've had those foundations i kind of appreciate every step like and, and i appreciate the work that's gone into every step and and i and also think that like if something does go wrong because i haven't just gone from here to here i only fall down a couple do you know what i mean so yeah. i've laid the foundations i haven't just made one hit and then gone there and thought oh my god what do i do now like which is what happens a lot more nowadays like but if you can't follow it up then you can't just get lost again so with mm. me i've built the foundations i've got the history and like you said i've put in the work to kind of to get to a place now where yeah i feel i feel i feel proud man i do i don't really reflect on it enough i don't think we do as people no. as i don't think we do like you're just so stuck in the moment like and what's going on and stuff but i think yeah we do need to give ourselves pats on the back sometimes because yeah to stay relevant and to, to even to do what you love for a living and make a healthy like living out of it and be cut and just to, for me that's that's a win in itself like the, yeah to do what you love like people search for that their whole lives isn't it so we are blessed to, to be able to find something that we can excel in do you know what i mean that we actually love like and, oh, and that's just thing. it's just like the potential of where it can go as well is just unbelievable so it's like you know i mean normal jobs you start at the bottom and you can go to the top but like with this like there's so many different avenues in the media <laughs> and, i mean this kind of so many different avenues you can go down i mean you can you can go into film music you can go into i don't know like just producing for like artists and not as much as a dj there's so many there's so many that avenues you can go down so it's just exciting because obviously the the more the journey continues the more opportunities are getting chucked in your way and i i kind of like these new challenges man like they just like they think mm, let me see if i could if, if turno can do this and and yeah it's nice man so the opportunities are are coming uh yeah definitely growing over the years so like i said I'm, i just feel blessed man i'm just i'm just gassed to be doing this man it's just it's just a yeah, things are good right now. That's nice, man. I hope you never lose that because that's the beautiful thing. Once, like you say, you still got that love for it. You still got that passion yeah. in it. That's nice, man. Do you lie on? Is it samples that you that you? A uh, bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, yeah. a bit of both. To be fair, so I use uh, obviously. I think every everyone nowadays uses samples, especially when we're making like dance kind of music. Um, uh, yeah so samples but also i have like i have hardware as well so i'll run like kind of old breaks and stuff whether they be i don't know old funk breaks or whatever like and then run them through my hardware so at least that way it's got my kind of touch on them yeah and then i can kind of bring them back into my into my uh, door and obviously yeah i can i can 
lay them out and they've got that kind of sound that kind of is associated with me so but yeah a lot of the time as well nowadays people are making like sound like their drums and making all their sounds within within software synths so it right. is it's just kind of evolved to a whole new level but to keep that kind of authentic rustic sound samples are a necessity in any genre man because they are the original elements from the past that made the, the genre in the first place and it's about how we interpret that now and yeah, so it's it's a kind of mix of both, but um, yeah, it's it's crazy because you can you can sample anything now. Like it's it's it's, it's mad. Like, I mean, YouTube, anything. If you like something of YouTube, copy a link, download it. Like, it's just like the possibilities are endless. So it's opened yeah. up like the the creative spectrum even bigger, man. I mean, anything <laughs> anything is possible. There's even an app now where you can put a track in and it will extract the vocals, the instrumental, the bass, and the drums, like Whoa. all se separately, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's mad. So you can obviously, have, you can now put a track in and actually fully get all of the separate parts and remix it properly, like without having to just use the actual final MP3 file. So technology is mad, man. It's, uh... getting, it's getting nuts out right here, bro. So God knows what's gonna happen in the next five years. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be just... talking to my door, like saying, make me a tune and just make one, innit? Like... <laughs> It'll know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, it's good. To... <laughs> yeah. You're just being to the brain, bro. I'm like, yeah, that's it, yeah, go for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because do you find that, like if you're listening to something or listening to like some song somewhere, and you'll hear a bit in that song and you go, oh, that'd be, that would be yeah, a great Yeah, oh, mate, 100%, bro. I literally, the other day, like, I'm a big fan of dinosaurs, Jurassic Park and that, like, I've been yeah. thinking, since I was a kid, like, but, um, yeah, I've never made, like, an actual uh, Jurassic Park track, if you like, and I remember from the first one, you know, when he, when the Velociraptor's sneaking up on him and he's like, clever girl, and then he's, <laughs> he's like, so I thought, I just thought about it at home, I thought, fuck, I'm going to put that in, and I had this bass that I'd made the other day that, that someone said to me sounds like a dinosaur, and I was like, you know what, bro, ah, it's clicked, uh... bro, and, and yeah, I went to the studio, built it, brother, and it sounded pretty cool, man, so, <laughs> yeah, it definitely could happen, man, anything from adverts to I don't know, like, and I'll, I'll always like even sing. Like, if I've got an idea and I'm, I'm not in the studio, I'll, I'll do a voice note. My voice notes are crazy, brother. The point is like, wah, 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 all these <laughs> random noises. But I'll just sing the riffs into my phone and. Yeah, man, just so you could remember, because you think, oh, you know, I remember that in the morning, will you, fuck? No, nah, never, yeah, ever. Fucking <laughs> gone, bro. Like, <laughs> that's why I always have to write it down or reference it, because I've done it before, and I think, oh, I remember that. Next day, that you've completely done, like, nowhere right. near. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, with you, surely with jokes. Yeah, <laughs> jokes, stories, books. Also, I've had, I've had so many ideas. Just as I'm nodding off, and yeah. I'm like, because I'm nodding off, I'm like, no, no, I remember that. I remember that. I've invented stuff. I've had yeah. all sorts. <laughs> you, know, just, <laughs> you got it, you got it down there. You wrote, you wrote it down. Or not? Really down now. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't, yeah. I've lost so many ideas. <laughs> so many ideas. Yeah, you live and learn it, man. Yeah, but I've had things come to me in dreams. I've had, yeah, yeah. I've had songs come to me in a dream. I've had. All manner of weird stuff happens. So, you know, like once you're tuned into it, like when you're always thinking about the next thing or the next yeah. idea, it's just there, isn't it? You just yeah, kind of, there's always a little bit of my brain that's just comedy, comedy, comedy. Doesn't matter what else I'm doing, I'm just, there's a little bit of my brain that's just scooping up. Like, it's like, yeah. like with samples, it's like, oh, that's a good turn of phrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting story. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. it. And in a minute, I'm like cleaning my teeth and my brain's yeah, going, yeah. Boop, 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 <laughs> all this stuff. But I was listening to your stuff, man. And, mate, it's fucking killer. It's fucking killer. Thanks, bro. I love it because it's. It's. I love music, and I think I love music more than comedy. But I never really, I never explored it enough as a as a musician or anything like that. But I do remember hearing drum and bass and hearing and hearing like jungle music and and all the stuff. And I was coming through like I know I sort of came of age at the at the rave stuff. Yeah, yeah. Late eighties, early nineties. So whenever I hear that kind of music, I'm sort of like it's straight away. I'm transported back. Yeah, 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 and I get that feeling of like I'm off me nut on something. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I'm a I'm a Bagley's again. I'm yeah, like, fucking hell, Bagley's. Yeah, yeah. but but I'm I was listening to your stuff. I was coming in today, and I was like, fucking hell, this is banging, man. And then uh, uh, yeah, get back was the one. Get back was was that. Fun. Oh wow, fucking yeah, hell, that's, yeah, that's yeah. old, man. I was having that, and then uh, yeah, I was having that, and then going through it, and then I was listening to the latest, like, what's on your mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely. And, and that, <laughs> that was a complete. That was a complete flip. And yeah. I was listening, to that, and it just. I was like, "Fuck!" I listened to it about three times coming in. Wow, did you? Because I was like, because the lyrics. Yeah, were man. So, we just it, it just it just encapsulates everything that I'm trying to do with this podcast. Amazing. Man. Trying to get people to open up and talk, and there's a there's the you were saying about your mate, and you'd been too busy to listen to him, and then. 
he, you know, he, he, he did something silly, and that was that's the reason this podcast exists. And I was like, fuck, man. So is that is that a true story? Is that something that's happened to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So my brother, my actual brother, like he took his life, man, like man. Uh, last September, man. So it was literally a, it was a it was a year and it was year anniversary. I think it was last week, mate. To be fair. Oh, I'm sorry so, to hear that. Yeah, no, nah, thanks, man. Um, but yeah, mate. So yeah, we just it was it was crazy. To be fair, man, it was mad. Like the whole the whole uh, yeah, it was obviously tragic. But like the only way we kind of I don't know, like basically one of one of his mates come up with the idea of, of, of some Bedford guys getting together and making making a song in his honour. And obviously I was like, mate, that's amazing. Like, that's the only way I know fully how to give yeah. back in, 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 in like fully give back uh, in music, really. So, yeah, he came up with the idea. And then, yeah, just, just from there, really, I got in the studio with one of the guys. He showed me a reference beat, which he kind of wanted it to sound a bit like. Because this is not really like what I put That's the first time I put out. Mm. I mean, he's listened to my other music. This is very different. Yeah, but that was it. That's what I was very like. Different. Fuck, yeah. Completely different. So, um, yeah, this is like a grime kind of like, I don't know, hip hop kind of vibe, like 110 BPM. So very slow, very chill, very emotional in it. Like mm. that's what I wanted to, to kind of to build. So we made the track and then I let, left it with them for a couple of months. They come back, we met in the studio and they recorded it and it was fucking amazing. I was blown away. I was, I was, I, I thought it was going to be good, but it was, it exceeded my expectations massively. And it, and then, then it turned from just being like a song we've done this honor to, bruv, we've got to get this out. Like this is mm. no fucking joke. This is, everyone we showed it to has cried or fucking felt something or this is more than just like a song that we share between friends let's actually fucking do something with this and yeah it just started building from there my team have been amazing uh, getting it all out and just just everything around it has just been great and yeah come out I think last last Wednesday or the Wednesday before and um, mm. yeah like I say for something like this it's very vulnerable like it's, it's they're all talking about their, their their experiences with mental health what, yeah. what it was like when they heard the news about Fabio like the first guy Miles actually lost Another guy called Fabio, ten years prior, literally oh, a week mate. before. And the thing that's crazy is like he mentions it in the in the song as well. His name is Fab Cataldo. And even at um the 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 crematorium, sorry, the cemetery, uh, my brother's we're, we're, we're Italian, so we've got the, mm. the, the mausoleum things, you know, the, the yeah. mark kind of things. Uh, and two underneath uh, Fabio is Fabio Cataldo. So it's mad just like how he knows both of them. There's so many like yeah, intertwining stories within that song, and like just everyone just just absolutely smashed it, man. Everyone tells a story. You can fully hear that like, it's fully from the heart. Even the start, just like the hook, like I don't know. Just doesn't matter if you're even into that music or not. Like I've shown it to my mum. Like uh, I mean, people that are a lot older than me that, and and they all feel something from it, and they all they all can uh, instantly be like I don't know. As soon as you hear it, like and then the voice comes in, you kind of you know the narrative straight away, and it just, mm. I, I think grabs you from there really. Like, that's why I really wanted people to to take it in the fact you listen to it three times like it's a seven minute song so it's not like yeah. a short, do you know what I mean it's 21 minutes half an, hour, <laughs> half an hour on one song but appreciate the love man but yeah it's 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 yeah, it is one of them ones where he doesn't feel like it's that long because, like, I feel like you're just in, you're just stuck in the story of it, like, and you kind yeah. of want, want to hear what everyone has to say. It doesn't feel like it goes on for too long. So, uh, yeah, man, it's it's the response has been crazy. I've had so many people open up to me and message me, like, from fans, to, like, friends, family, uh, and it's just been it's been mad. So uh, from there, we kind of decided we'd, we'd we'll do like a we want to put together like a. A mental health seminar like in, yeah. uh, in in Manchester which I'm not too sure if you know much about but yeah we're doing it on the 5th of October it's a free event like and uh, yeah we've got some massive brands involved like um, from the drum and bass scene as well as uh, the other music sorry the music scene in general we've got like Ewan McVicker coming down Salado doing guest talks like uh, DRS like myself um, we've got like Sampson's Academy which I was charity from Bedford who we work right. a lot with they're going to be there um uh, kind of on the more professional kind of side. We've got Zenful Menu from Birmingham, who's like more of a younger brand that specialises in mental health, like the breathing and the cold showers kind of vibes. So he's coming down. So we've got a lot of people coming together that really support this kind of one thing. And it's it's crazy. It's, it's, it's just if, from an idea that my manager actually had two weeks ago to see it actually happening now and see like the place and see the people involved. Like it's, it's really heartwarming, man. And it just feels like, I said to, to Dale earlier, my manager, I was like, bro, it feels, it's a different kind of feeling than getting, than, than, than doing something for like for money or fucking, I don't know. It's, it's a different kind of payment. It's weird. Like you just yeah. feel, you feel this good. Like, and that's something that is better than any money, better than any, gratitude or, or or nod from anyone like it's just i don't know the fact that you know that you're actually doing something 
something good. Like I don't know, yeah. doing something to try and help people, like with with your own experiences and, and with your own kind of contacts and trying to build something. And yeah, just trying to make it like say okay to fucking talk, man. That's literally yeah. what, what's on your mind. That's the name of the whole project. Like it's and and it's just yeah, it's so true. Like just actually check in on your people, man. Like on a on a yeah. yeah I mean, you can tell where you can tell when someone's not okay, man. Like just yeah. just a little, just a little. Like how you doing, bro? You right? Like. I mean, open up the conversation. Don't just think, oh, it'll be all right. Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, I'll see if he's cool tomorrow kind of thing. Just act, man, innit? And I think that's the whole thing with this. Like, the more direct route needs to be uh, need to be taken in it for yeah for things to be done. So, yeah. That's but, true, man. And that's the thing with this, because it's this is what needs to happen as well. Like, it just is, it needs to be everyone everywhere doing it. So it's great that people yeah. that, that are into this genre of music and they're opening up. You've got people that are in sport and they're opening up. Yeah. That's what it needs. It needs yeah, it needs people at the forefront of all these things. Yeah, definitely, man. Opening up the conversation because people are so people are still they're still they're worried about opening up. They don't want to, because it makes yeah. them feel vulnerable or they don't yeah. want to get in the way of people's lives. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, that as well. You know, so it needs people like this. With the, the the generation of people that listen to your music, mm. it needs them. It, this, you opening up and going, I need you to talk to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna listen. They're gonna, and it's and it's so important. And good like thing you say, well, you know, yeah. The good thing. Sorry to cut you. No, no, no. Go on. The good thing is like uh, because like there's a uh, well, because drum bass scene, especially my kind of sub genre, is is very um, it's very it's, it's, it's very young. To put it that way. So I mean, we've got a chance now to speak to the younger demographic and yeah. get them all influenced and get them schooled in this like now do you know what I mean rather than like when it when it's too late or do you know what I mean just the fact that it's just made I don't know yeah it's it's it's, it's crazy but at the same time like I say if everyone does come together it will so it will sooner or later be like a just a normality and that's the problem it's still so mm. like I don't know it, even even though it is kind of broadcast a lot more now it is still not like there's people at the top that still ain't supporting the thing do you know what I mean there's still mm. big bosses out there that would rather put this above this and still because it's making them money or whatever yeah. you know what I mean? it, it's, it's, I don't know man and that's the savage thing about it man. but hey all we can do is what we can do in it and I mean you doing this podcast me doing the song and, and trying to raise awareness through that like we do, yeah. we do, we're doing our bit in it do you know what I mean we're trying we're trying to make a difference this is it mate this is it this is how we do it, it, it it's really important it, and the thing is we're going to be it might not make it might not seem like there's a lot of difference a lot of change being made now but the conversation has started and so you're part of that and yeah. so the generations coming after this will be the ones that benefit and yeah. so it's i get because i'm you know i'm the same i get sometimes i'm like what's the fucking point I'm, i feel like i'm banging my head against the wall yeah, yeah. no one seems to be trying to sort of join in or or they're 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 trying to they're trying to monetize what we're trying to do yeah exactly and, yeah. you know they're going oh right oh that's the conversation oh, we can make yeah. some proper money out yeah, of it yeah man and not don't really do because I want to help. And so, but I need to just struggle that off and go right. I just got to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And that's the thing. More people will benefit later on. Might not see it now, but you'll see I, it later I on. I fully so, agree, man. Yeah, I fully man. agree. I think, my, like I say, my, my inbox since releasing the song and just everything has been, it's been overwhelmingly crazy. With people that like, open up to me saying about. Oh, how it's helped them to open up to their mum and dad about their issues, or they can relate because they lost someone if, uh, due to mental health for suicide, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So even just that, man, even just like the, the f and that was like good fifty plus people, like I mean at least. So even just that, like I knew I was like, you know, we're doing something right, here, boys, man. We do, we are doing something good here, like, and it feels it feels good. Let's just keep pushing and see see where we can take it. And I really do think this this mental health thing next this uh, seminar next week is going to be it's it's going to be. Yeah, it's gonna be sick, man. There's a lot of people coming. Obviously, bro, you're more than welcome to make a trip up to Manchester if you're about. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to, man. I'm in Manchester the night before, so I might be able oh, to I get are. work. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sick, sick, man. Yeah, come through, man. Like, there's a lot of people there. Like, it'll be, it'll be really, really good if people open up about their cases and stuff. And I don't know, man. I think it'll be just a really good networking place for people that all have the same passion for mental health. Yeah. Like, as many people we can get together from different areas, like it's just, uh, it's just yeah, it sounds thing, great, right? man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'll sort that out. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah, sick, yeah. man. That was really good. But I think the other side of it as well, like, and we're all guilty of it, like, like you know, because because life is hard and it's getting harder at the minute. It feels, you know, we got we've still got war and, and you know hunger going on and people aren't taking care of each other. Our so-called leaders aren't taking care of business. They're just fucking yeah. loading the right life rafts for themselves while the rest of us have to kind yeah. of like fight really amongst exactly. ourselves. So I get it that we're all under a lot of stress. So so sometimes things get missed, like you say, like you know. Like in the song, it mentions that 
you know, you wish you'd have said something or you wish you'd have gone, uh, oh, you know, go and have a cup of tea, which is, that's the thing as well. Yeah. Just having a cup of tea yeah, makes yeah. all the difference. And I think that's, we shouldn't, yeah, you're going to beat yourself up, but at the same time, it's like, just life just gets in the way sometimes. You know, I've had people that I should have reached out to, but I had some yeah. shit going on and I didn't and I feel yeah. bad, but it's, um, it would, but at least we, it, it's horrible that they're not here anymore, those people that we loved. And you go, fuck, how can I make that not happen again? Yeah. It's a shame that it took that to happen, though. I know. Yeah, but you know, know it, it always is, though, isn't it? It's yeah. fucked as it is. It's, it's always for certain shit to happen that you kind of you see life from it. And the one positive from this is, as, as much as how tragic it is, my brother's not here anymore. Like, mm. but like he 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 has plied this seed in in not just me, but like people around like this for this idea. I, I really do want to push this. What's on your mind? Thing is like a yearly event, maybe even go to, I, I don't know, yeah, I just, I just really got a good vision in my head of it, and I think, I think that, that, that for me, that means, um, I don't know, just, for me, it, it feels like something me and him have done in it, so it feels, yeah. it feels nice, man, it does feel nice, like, we still, he was a barber, so we've, we've still kind of got his shop open as well, like, his barber. Oh, really? Yeah, man, me and my dad and my brother took it over, and obviously, we don't know what the fuck we're doing with barbers, <laughs> so, so, so we, but we just, it was just like, we ain't shutting this, man, because it was just like, the, the day after he passed, it, it was mad, he, it, his shop is right in town, Escobarber, Mm. And uh, he it literally like it was it was like for two weeks, bro, uh, until the funeral. Sorry, which was I think two or three weeks. Every single fucking day, bro, there was I'm talking hundreds of people there. It sounds mad saying that, but it was it was crazy. It was like every time you wanted to just I don't know, just you walk past there, there would be people there, just like yeah, paying respects. So the flower, the flowers were, were were crazy. So it was just it was overwhelming the support that we. Uh, we all had from Bedford and it just showed this is a kill the thing that kills it the most bro how much he was actually fucking loved man yeah like, how much impact he had in all these people's lives bro like that he still like thought that he just I don't know like it, it, it wasn't enough that's the thing I feel so sorry about which I can't comprehend is the fact that the fact he 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 was feeling he must have been feeling so shit and I feel mm. so sorry for him to to still have like he had a girlfriend who still works in the shop now bless her like absolute diamond she is Liv um yeah, he had a business, he had a loving family, he had loads of friends and those people has impacted like just throughout life. Like and it yeah. wasn't enough for him to to even want to carry on, man. And that's that's the horrible, horrible thing that that you just gotta swallow and just think, Oh fuck, man. Like so it's just one of them things. But that just it's just like there's a stage of things that obviously happens before that. So it's mm. like but I still just feel like it's just I don't know how you feel about um uh, I don't know what pills that, that they they give I, I think it's antidepressants and shit but mm -hmm. he he got put on some of them like um bef and and they, they they say it makes you feel worse before it gets better you know what I mean yeah. and that 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 alone is a bit fucked up man and if you're feeling already that vulnerable and that shit like it, 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 I don't know man that, that's what uh, that's one of the factors I think that sent him over the edge man because he was already in such a shit place mm. that he took these things and, and and he just looked numb, bruv. Like, and it's like, I've seen other people that take them as well. They kind of sometimes look a bit emotionless. It's almost like yeah. soulless. You're just like, and that's how he felt. Like, and, and I don't know, like it's, I just, I just don't, I don't really agree with, uh, with, uh, with how that was prescribed to be fair, man. But it's not, uh, I'm not trying to blame anyone. I'm just saying this is, no. I, just, I just feel like there, there should have been more care and attention in the case, like before, I don't know. It's just for before, it's thinking that this is going to help, man. But I don't know. Like he was, he was, yeah, he was, um, he was, yeah. It was, it was tough, man. I can't lie. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was, it was a tough fucking, fucking, mm. uh, fucking year, man. Especially for your parents and shit as well. And just, shit, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah. Trying to hold them both up, like we're trying to just to make sure they're okay, really. Like and just, and obviously they're not together, so they both got a separate family. So even that alone was tough. Like my mum's on her own, bless her now. Like so, it's just me. So it's just, yeah, because Fabio actually lived uh, at my mum's house up uh, until he right. went as well, man, with oh, his God. girlfriend. So yeah, it, it's been tough. But like I say, like as much as this is all really horrible, tragic, like we're we're tr we're trying to recycle that pain into prosper. Do you know what I mean? Trying to mm. trying to do something good. Like all, all my family are, are on the same page. Like, we've done a documentary for the BBC, which I don't know if you been told about which is actually airing on the 7th of October on okay. fr Friday at half seven uh, on BBC One which is um, yeah it's about Fabio's case basically his journey like what happened and also we do like suicide training in it as well so to kind of help uh, us understand more about 
uh, uh, yeah, just the suicide mm. word and to be a lot more direct about it. I learned quite a lot, to be fair. And, and yeah, like Samson's Academy, which is the charity I mentioned earlier, uh, Dorian, he's the one that set this up. He actually met Fabio once in a car park randomly and they opened up to him. Fabio opened up to him, like, which was quite right. mad because they never, like, that's the first time they've met, but... Um, yeah, and he felt like he could open up to me. So he made an impact in Dorian's life and he actually reached out to me and said, look, the BBC have approached me. Like, obviously, i heard about Fabio. Like, I would love love it to be on your brother if you uh, look at the case so we can try and spread awareness and help. And obviously, at first, it was like, oh, is this the right thing to do? You feel like, is this... Mm, not, yeah. glo not glorifying it, but is, nah. this, is it putting this on TV? Is, it, is, this, is this ethical? Like, would Fabio have liked... There's so many things going through your head, do you know what I mean? Like, And like... Yeah, we were just we thought about it, and then we thought, you know what, man? Let's let's use this as a positive. Let's actually we're actually going to help people like um, that can relate to this, uh, uh, open up, and I do think this is going to do some good. Like, and even for ourselves, I like, will. It, it was weird because it was almost like therapy a little bit for ourselves because we had to do the master interviews where, like, obviously they come to your house and they they had like a 30, 40 questions, man. They went through everything, and obviously, yeah, there was questions that were fucking hard. Like, what, mm. can you remember what happened on the day and stuff? And like, can you talk it back to us? Like, it, it was fucking horrible, but they're making TV, so I understand it, man. But at the same time, I haven't really been asked them questions or even asked myself them questions. So no. it, it almost like, it, as hard as it was, it did get that emotion out from me. So I kind of did yeah. feel a bit lighter after. And, and with my dad, especially, he took it fucking really bad, man. And, and I, I could tell after he after he'd done the interview that he he would just just lighter and he felt a lot more. I don't know. I could tell he just it just it just helped him in it. So mm. uh, and we've watched it back now um, to obviously sign it off and it was just beautiful the way it's done, man. It's really been done well professionally and just like oh, in nice. a, in a nice classy way with a with a, obviously a horrible it's a, it's a horrible tragic thing that happened, but the way the way it kind of evolves because on the on the actual episode I, I kind of uh, show my dad the track and at the end of it I show the track to like the whole shop and like, we invite loads of people down so it's like quite a nice ending like where I'm showing the track to everyone kind of uh, and yeah it, 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 it's got a lot of positive in it as much as it's, it is so tragic so something as well that we can obviously have now for the rest of our lives and like, yeah. it's like a I mean like a safe keep just just knowing that we can watch that whenever we want and yeah, so I do think we've done a good thing. And again, like to be honest, it's just, it just hopefully just gets the message out even fucking more, mate. That's what I'm just looking at now with the song and what that's doing. And I'm hoping this is just another elevation just yeah. to get out to people that are not in my demographic as well because there's going to be a lot of people watching BBC One at half seven or watching this documentary that don't know who the fuck I am like, or don't even listen to my music or anything. So this is a perfect chance for that to hopefully get through and open yeah. up to a lot more a lot more kids a lot more adults a lot more people in general just get the message out more I'm just trying to just try to do yeah just get it out as much as possible through my channels and I think yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this should be a really good one for for helping it get out there so right. I'm just looking at the positives exactly. that's the thing that's what you have to do and, and the fact that you've channeled all that into something that's going to help so many people it's such a beautiful thing the thing is as well like you were mentioned earlier like you said like yeah, like Fabio had been struggling a little bit, and and then yeah. he went on the antidepressants. I don't, I personally, I've been on antidepressants briefly many years ago. Mm. Didn't I? Didn't feel right. I, mm -hmm. I took myself straight off of them because again, like you do, you don't feel anything at all. Yeah. You're just you're just nothing. It's just like you're in this fog. Yeah, and, um, that's exactly. It, yeah, and then they say, oh well, you know, you got to try a few before you find your right the right one that suits you. And you just, I don't know. I think once you're I think once people are, because that's the thing with depression, people don't, under, we don't understand how debilitating depression is. Yeah. And once you, once you've gone past a certain level, it's very difficult to come back because we mm -hmm. don't really understand it. People go, yeah. oh, you're depressed. Depression, that, even that word has been, yeah. has been diluted to a point like it yeah. doesn't, it doesn't really it doesn't really explain what is actually going on yeah, yeah, you're when right. you are depressed, when you're, when you're fully in amongst it, 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 you feel just, there's no hope whatsoever. You're squashed into the floor and you, there's no hope. You don't see any way out. 
And then so to then take medication that probably yeah. wasn't the right medication for him, yeah. that would have been the thing that pushed him out. Yeah, so it's, yeah, really, it's, it's no it's, one's fault. It's nah, just, nah, it's no one's fault. But I think it's understand, it, understanding it more. I, yeah. I, I, just, I just think taking a pill like to try and think that's going to fix your head when you could do so much more. Like I know it's not as easy as this, but just going for fucking walks or just exercise mm. in general, is, I think there should be a lot more other ways where naturally you can feel a bit better rather than just going, here's a pill. But you're going to feel worse, even though you feel like this already like for two weeks. Like then it might get better, or it might not. Like two weeks is a long time. If you're in crisis yeah. mode, bro, like that's, that's yeah, exactly. a tough fucking a couple of days is tough enough, mm. let alone a fucking couple of weeks, man. So yeah, it's just one of the things. But like you said, I just don't think I don't think people understand it fully yet. I don't think I don't think anyone understands the, the steps the steps fully, yeah. like the whole picture. This is it. That's it. It's that we need to get a better understanding of what depression actually is, which is not and it, and and being able to open up and talk about these things. I've got to a point now where I'll just go, I'll just, I remember the other day I was just stood in my flat and I went, I can't fucking do this. Yeah. Like, out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and my missus is like, you're right. I went, I just don't know how to explain how I'm feeling. This is fucking bollocks. And she went, I think I'll get the measure. <laughs> I'm like, and we had a laugh and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, because sometimes you don't know how to, you uh, don't know how to, how to get it out. Yeah, yeah I know. You know? Yeah, yeah. So just uh, get to a point. Off, said that, yeah. yeah, oh god, yeah. That's the first. <laughs> so anyone listening to this, if you are just at a point, you just if you go like meet over a mate for a cup of tea and they go, how are you? you go. I can't explain it. <laughs> I just know it's fucking horrible, yeah. and I don't know what it, that'll 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 get things going. Yeah, that'll I get hear, the yeah. flowing. I hear you, just bro. Anything, I hear you. just just get it out. Yeah, I know, bro. I know, man. You know. Which That's is easier just, said than done. It know. is, yeah. Do you know, I, I do swear by like exercise though, man. I mean, just just anything like, and quite, for me, I, I like the most, like, I've just started doing boxing and I, I've only done mm. it on one session, but I, I love it, man. It was fucking sick. Like, and I love just like, it's quite savage. It fucking, you shattered after it, but I don't know how the fuck people do 12 rounds, mate. Fuck me. <laughs> two, two minutes and one round, I was like, yo, I am blowing, <laughs> bro. Like, and then, yeah, it's, but yeah, do you know what? I just love the challenge of it. It's quite savage, but at like, the end of it, half an hour, oh, sorry, an hour, you're done. And just like, yeah. And, and then, do you know what? I had a shit day that day. I remember I had a shit day, bro. Went boxing and I was like, yo, bro, I feel, I feel good now. I feel yeah. good. I was, I was back in. So that's what I feel like it can do. Cause that's, like you said, it's stored in you somewhere, in it. So yes. if it's getting out by savagely exercise, like, do you know what I mean, just punching it out of it or yeah. whatever it is, like treadmill in it or lifting mad weights or just doing something just to kind of, yeah, just to get your heart going and just to get it out of you, then then you just feel like, oh, because otherwise you just feel it bubbling in it. Like you feel like something's, something's yeah. coming. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna snap at someone or fucking tell someone they're an idiot, whatever the fuck. Like. So, yeah, it's good just to, uh, yeah, that's something that's just, this, I mean, I've, yeah, it should be taught more. It should be definitely, definitely yeah. more, more kind of uh, out there. I, I've not found it out for. Well, I mean, I've been quite savage for the last, I don't know, I'd say eight years with Jim. How important it is just for my mental well-being, bro. Like, yeah. not, even, not even physical condition, man, because I'm fat as fuck. But <laughs> <laughs> mate, if you're fat, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, trust me, the gut, the gut is under the table, man. <laughs> but yeah, like, so yeah, it's, it's yeah, so it's, it's important. It's important, man. Definitely, man. Just to just for the head top man especially yeah. when you've got these busy busy lives and shit as well like just to yeah it's just a it's a chance for you just you just to reset a little bit in it spend a little time mate. with yourself in it put the fucking phone down oh, mate. <laughs> so, yeah. and just uh work out for an hour <laughs> sweat it out and then yeah it's good. important and i've i've just been getting back into the gym years ago about it must be like eight years ago i had a personal trainer and it was nice to be able to. I mean, so a lot, I get it. A lot of people can't afford the gym. Or they nah, can't no, no. Yeah, but you can still you can still do other yeah. things, man. Like you got most people got a bike or just go for a run, man, or walk. Go out. Man. That's yeah. no excuse for that about the gym. You can definitely. No. Get it. But I get it. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but go out. I did. I remember. So it was nice to have someone to answer to, because it was all. It was oh, like yeah, right course, three yeah. times a week you're coming to see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd go there with one shoe. I'd forget something, and he'd, go, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he'd have a and he'd bollock me and all that. But uh, I felt good. But uh, I'm back in the gym now, and I love. And it it took me a while to go to because I was people were like oh one day it'll just click and you'll yeah. just you'll just love being in there. And I'm like oh fuck yes. Yeah. So I went to the gym the other day. I had a proper session. I was dripping and I walked home. And then I had a shower and I was getting on my admin and all that. And in the evening, I was like, I might go back. And I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know how it makes you feel? It is, it is good, like, to do it. I mean, I, I've been training with my mate uh, uh, and he, he, he like, he's quite into his gym. So, he, he, I mean, I just follow his lead. Just like, he's like having a personal trainer. Like, so yeah. it's nice to have that because then it's like a, you push each other and, and I 
I mean? You've got a little, you've got a reason to go. Like if they're going, you're like, oh, I'm going to come as well because I don't want to miss out on the stress. And so it kind of mm. gives, you, gives you that excitement. But yeah, it's for me, it's just the benefits after, man. It just makes you feel feel good. Like, like when you when you get into that thing, it's like, look, it's just a, daily, it's just a normal routinely thing I do. Go in there for an hour, come out, done. And that's yeah. it. Like, go in the morning. I always go in the morning. I think it's better. Yeah, 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 definitely. I, I prefer, I, I've done evening sessions, but I just prefer, I do prefer the morning. I feel like it just... You're just like, yes, right, fucking go. Yeah, <laughs> you're absolutely. Yeah, you're ready to move, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice because when I'm in there, because there's no internet and you can connect yeah. to the gym internet, but that's a bit that's a bit sketchy. But So I go in there and I haven't got to worry about emails. I've got to worry about all the things. I've just got to lift a few things, pull yeah. a few things. And then I do a bit of a run at the end and then I've had like an hour, hour and a half. And I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah all right, now I can go and deal with this other bollock. Yeah, exactly, man. It's nice, nice, man. Yeah. It's nice to put your phone down. I always put it in my bag and just leave it for an hour and just go, because they play pretty sick tunes in my, in my gym. Like, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just in, in there and just, just fuels you. And it's nice as to... Leave the phone. Like you got the people that's literally on the they're, they're like in between <laughs> on their phone for about ten minutes. I'm probably finished with that. Yeah, you finished with that. Yeah. That, that, that. That was me. That was me. I've been that guy, so I get it. But bro, put the phone down for an hour, bro. Like I mean, you'll be you'll be in and out. Like it just means that everything takes about twenty million times as long. <laughs> you got a factory of people. You're going. You're, <laughs> yeah, and you're, <laughs> you go. Oh, I was in your gym for an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting, oh. queuing up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait and see the fucking dumbbells. <laughs> but I love it. I love doing that. I love going out. I like. I used to be like because I know it's you know now it's getting cold as well. It's getting darker yeah. earlier. So there's a there's a there's a point you'll go. Oh, I've been at work all day. I don't. But just go and have a walk around the block. Go go. Just do something and just for an hour or twenty minutes. You don't even need to be an hour. Twenty minutes. Uh, just go and do something. Be a fresh, be a fresh air, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and get Wait, wet. Go and stand in the rain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Feel that. Man. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. <laughs> But yeah, it's important, man. Exercise definitely for, for well-being. Yeah. I, I agree, man. It definitely helps. It is just... And it, I mean, this is the thing, because people go... They'll go, oh, I'm going to start my diet on Monday, or I'm going to start this, <laughs> I'm going to start that. You go, you, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Just do... Just just balance it out a little bit more. Yeah. Like you can still have a cake, but just don't have two cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah. just you know have a little bit of have a little bit of veg. You know you haven't got a. I, like, I, I normally you know. eat like quite good in the week, and then the weekend I'm like, yeah, I'm in. I'm <laughs> I love my food, bro. So yeah, literally Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. If I don't go to bed Sunday feeling like a whale, then I'm not done it right, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's getting better for me now because I used to be. When I was younger, like sort of, so I'd finish a gig. It's just like Friday or Saturday night, and then we'd we'd go out, we'd get pissed, and then we'd get yeah. on it or whatever. And then it always it was about ten years ago. I was living in Greenwich in South London, and I knew when I got back, if the light was on, I'm like, oh, there's a party in my flat, and it would just, <laughs> it would just <laughs> keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now yeah, it's a little know. bit more. Yeah, now it's like. I'm a bit more like I, I don't I don't have it used to be the fear of missing out, but now yeah, I'm like yeah. no 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 listen if I want to it's still gonna the party's still gonna be somewhere if I want to have a drink or I want to do something then yeah there'll exactly. be something somewhere but I don't need to do it all the time so Sundays were always ruined just covered in takeaway wrappers yeah and, yeah and mate then, yeah same as that and the existential dread from all the shit I've done the night before <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you know what? that's the thing with my yeah. because I'm in a party every fucking weekend like it is it is mm. something that is tough to 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 say not to to not get involved basically man and and yeah. to be honest like once you get that in your head I've I've got it a lot more controlled than now but before it, I could never do it I could literally yeah, I, I would mm. I would be drinking my rider and I would be mash up after and it would just be the normal part of it. Like just are we in a party, why the fuck not? The adrenaline, da, 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 just it's just normal, just normal, like and then yes. you just do that, like I mean if you've got three gigs the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're just doing that every night. It's just I mean, yeah, even though you feel like shit, you just keep keep going and going. And yeah, cool, it's all good. Like, I mean, I'm I'm not a mopar, I'll just get on and do it. I know the consequences of actions, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but at the same time, like you do that for like I mean, months on end, bro. If, if you start to resent it a little bit, I can't lie. You start to just oh god, I gotta travel here again. Bro, just don't oh, yeah. drink in it. Just don't fucking drink. Like you'll be and do you know what? I went to America to do a tour. Uh, in March uh, or oh, April, I think, for like a month and a bit, I think it was, and and I did. I think I had a drink twice, uh, yeah. and I had like nine shows. So I did the whole thing sober. I actually lost weight in America. Uh, I mean, yeah, I yeah. Like, How the fuck I did that? But <laughs> <laughs> I was smoking a hell of weed. I'm not gonna lie, because it's <laughs> illegal everywhere, isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
But um, at the same time, yeah, man, it just, I just the whole tour was different. Like getting up the next day and going, getting on flights and airports, and actually like being like, oh, I'm in an airport. And I'm like, oh, get me out of fuck. You know, normally when you're hanging, you just want to go straight on the plane. Like the hat comes <laughs> over the head, and you get the window seat. It's got to be a window seat, and then you're, and then yeah, then you're, and you're out, man. But it's nice. I don't know. You just see a different side. You think, fucking hell, like this is actually better. Like I can do things in a day. I'm not just waiting to get to my hotel room so I can yeah. sleep and die. Like. I just think fuck. So yeah, since then I've definitely taken it into my approach a bit more. Like festival season was obviously crazy, man. So there was a couple of naughty ones, but <laughs> but yeah, like, it's just it's just, it's just, it's just balance, man. Balance mm. in it. It's definitely something that's just, just yeah. I mean, look, I'm I'm 33 now as well, so <laughs> I need to need to like it's nice to just wind in a little bit and just pick uh, and choose. Mate. There's no shortage of parties. I'm fucking out whatever you smoke. Nah. Again, mate. So, I mean, so it's cool. Like, just I'll just, just pick one a month, babe. Yeah, and we'll just have a little crack on there. Like, that's, 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 it, that's, man, that's like. it. It's that. It's that. Yeah. It's like every every few weeks or every couple of months, I'll go, just do it, and we'll get on it. But yeah. it doesn't have to be all the time. Because the, nah. the thing is, as well, because it was all the time, that that come down when you get your lowest, your that yeah, despair. Bro. Cause, and even bro. though you go. That's because I fucked myself up at the weekend. Yeah. That's what I'm paying for now. Yeah, you, it's still hard to comprehend because you, yeah. you go you, that that sense of dread is so real. Yeah, it's very difficult to go. It's because I got fucked up on whatever at the weekend because your brain's going, no, no, this is it. You might as well just chuck yourself under a bus or whatever. This yeah, is man, that, that's, that's that Monday Tuesday is horrible. Oh yeah, ter- 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 terrible Tuesday. They're worse than fucking Monday. Monday, you're like, yeah, I've got through it, brother. And then like, whack. And then Wednesday, sometimes Wednesday, a little wacky Wednesdays comes in and fucking, hey, I'm still here, mate. I'm still here. Like, fuck it. And then before you know, it's Friday. Like, fucking hell. Like, so yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's too late. You get that moment like, where you actually have a crash, and like, I feel like when you're in that party mode, if shit's good, like as in, like, if you're creative and you're making tunes and you're smashing out the gigs and life is good, then it accelerates. It kind of it helps. It in a, it, I can't think of the word. It makes things. I don't make things. Yeah, it accentuates it. Yeah, it yeah. 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 Make things better. Such a stupid thing. So, <laughs> but yeah, like yeah, what you said is much better. But yeah, if you do it on the the flip side, it's just I don't know. It's, it's you, you need to you need to be careful. You don't run away with it, man. You need to have yeah. like a, a, a moment where you kind of go yo. And I think that's what happened. It happened it's happened to to me a couple of times when I'm like, right, look, I need to chill out for a bit now. I need to like my head's going a bit mad. Like mm. you know I mean, you start you start overthinking shit and. Yeah. yeah, motivation goes because if you're partying at the weekend a lot, then Monday's a myth, Tuesday could be yeah. a myth, and then by the time it's it's the weekend, you're like, oh, my, everything becomes a bit more of a chore, and it's like, so what am I doing this for? The partying or the actual like the music, like the real reason? And yeah. you have to remind yourself that sometimes, man. Like it's a it's a blessing that we can we can actually get mash up on our jobs, really. If you think about it, it's quite rare. Yeah. Right? Any job allows you to to drink on the job, but um, yeah. At the same time, I think a lot more artists nowadays are uh, being a lot more vocal about the fact that they're living the sober life and they're, yeah. they're enjoying it so much more. They're feeling things. I think Patrick Toppin come out recently and said he's he, he's f- feels like a whole new type of relation now from playing because I'm yeah. not I'm not uh, drunk and can't remember it or you actually feel things like you feel emotions more. And you know I fully agree with him, man. Like it's true. And as well, you feel a lot more obviously. Just, just confident, man. You're not fucked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, you know, I mean, you can, you can, as much as like, I think, as much as you can still do your thing when you've had a couple of drinks, like, I don't know, you, you I mean, you, you're sober. So you're in the moment. You know exactly what's going on. You're, you're, yeah. Obviously, the first couple, I think, take a bit of getting used to because you're, uh, I suppose, it is weird being, you know I mean, being the sober guy at a party. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit of a, I feel like a bit of a granddad. Like, you get annoyed, <laughs> you get annoyed very quickly with people like, fucking get out, fucking hey, man. Like, <laughs> shut up, man. But at the same time, like, it's, I don't know, yeah, it's part, it's part of it. But by the end of the set, you, you're drunk off the gas anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. so like, yeah, that, like, it's all good. You know? they're all your friends again now <laughs> <laughs> for like 20 minutes and then drilling goes he's like well i've got to go now because these guys are there, I, <laughs> I had it the other day i got i got to this place and then i was late because i've been gigging and by the time i got there everyone was on a level that i was never gonna achieve from where i was i had a drink and i had a thing and then i was like right all right i'll give it a go but then four people were talking to me at the same time about oh, four mate. different things yeah and i went Ah, uh, listen, much, listen, I'm never catching you up. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to bed. I'll see you a lot later. My mate, the other you know. week, man, we've done the same. We, we went to a festival and, like, he, uh, um, 
Yeah, I, mean, I was playing seven to eight. I was, I was on a sober one. I was like, right, I'm sober one. I, I was meeting a couple of friends there. We got in there. I was like, here you go. I had my rider in it because I'm not going to drink it. So I give it to my mates. Obviously, I got there like half six. I was playing at seven to eight. And then Buster Rhymes was on after. So I was like, oh, fuck, go and watch him. Uh, so anyway, I, I, play, I played the set and, and obviously come off. And then one of our mates was absolutely wankered. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck have you done in like in an hour? Like the bottle was still the bottle was still not really that drunk. And I was like, what the fuck have you got up to, man? And he told me a couple of days later. And I was like, and I was like, bro, like, fuck it. But he was, he was mash up, bro. Like, absolutely. Like you said, different level, different levels to all of us. And I was like, bro, like, you know, he was, he was just like running into conversations, just talking over people. Like, just, he was like, <laughs> gr- grab me over and, and talking, in, talking in my ear and saying, I don't know, just humming a tune. But I was like, what, what is the point in this? Are you just singing the tune? Do you want me to tell you what it is? Like, there was no, like, it was just like, bro, like, I, I'm not in your level, man. And, and, and I don't know how you've got to that level, bro. I'm like, <laughs> it's he's gone from nothing to bro. <laughs> like, he could have, oh, mate, yeah, so many dramas, not dramas, but so many things. I thought, bro, like, how? Like, it's like a detective. And we were like, how did you, how did you give him a side? You... <laughs> what happened, bro? What happened? How... Everyone else was like, normal level, like, two drinks of vodka in. And he's like, been out fucking fucking four days, right? So I was like, <laughs> what? But yeah, it's like sometimes it's hard, like you said, it's hard to if people are on different levels and there's too many of them. Like you, you seem like you yeah. walked into like a, an army of them, like, so like, like wasp nest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you gotta go, wow, oh, man. And, and it's true when you've got people that are just firing shit at you and you're not on the same vibe. It's mm. tough, man. Tough, tough. To, but what do I do with this information? Who do I speak to? Like, to <laughs> what do I do? Like, what do, I do? <laughs> but it's nice to have the wherewithal to go. Whereas before, I would have felt I needed to join in and yeah, try yeah, and I catch them up. Yeah, and yeah. it fucked myself too yeah. quickly, like your yeah, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I've gone, ah, listen, this is pointless. This is going to fuck me up for another four days. If I if I do this as quickly as I need to do it, <laughs> yeah, that's going yeah, yeah. to be my week. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so yeah, like, You've got to think about these things now, man. Like, <laughs> it's true, man. Because like, for me, it's like the more... if. It's, because I've had a good week, like with music and stuff, like you then start to think, oh, oh, I want to reward myself with a yeah. drink, and, like, and then you you do that, and then then it goes like uh, I don't know that like you might look, you might be fucked the next day because you're hanging out and you think, oh, why don't I just carry on? Like, and then it might take oh, yeah. a couple of days for you to to get the momentum back again. So it's, it's weird, but like at the same time, I don't know. Like it's, I suppose it's kind of normal that you want to reward yourself if you're happy and gassed of what you've the work you've done. But I suppose yeah, it, it's trying to find another way to celebrate that without. without <laughs> Without having to write off the next day. (laughs) (laughs) But I tell you, you you should be really proud of what you've achieved. That song today, like I say, when I was into it coming in, it touched me on a whole new level. Yeah, everything about it. And I couldn't wait to come in and talk to you about it. And and I think it's from something that's so tragic, that something so beautiful has come from it, is is the reward in itself. And you are going to help so many people with this song and what you're doing, all the work you're doing. So... I th- I think I can't wait to see what you what you do. With this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited as well, man. Yeah. I, appreciate, I really do appreciate the support, man. Like, it's, That's it's lovely, nice man. To, not, lovely to chat to you. Yeah, and you, and so the so the song's already out. Yeah, um, the song come out yeah. on Wednesday. That. The, the, a couple of Wednesdays ago, so that's already out. What's on your mind? Yeah. Like everywhere, Spotify, all the all the online. Um, retailers uh, and then the I've done a drum based edit of it which is uh, coming out on the 10th which is I think National Mental Health Day if, if right I'm, yeah 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 uh, it's oh, coming amazing. out coming out on the 10th um, which is obviously just the version that I've been playing in my sets I've been playing it at the end of my sets and the first time I played it, I played it in, in a, a big festival called Let It Roll in uh, Czech Republic. And uh, I wanted to um, kind of create a moment at the end. So I played it at the end. I kind of got on the mic. I, I kind of said, like, this is a song I made for my brother. Um, can everyone please, like, get their phone lights out? And I got the lights, I got the main lights to go down. And then, oh, it was amazing, man. I got everyone to get their phone lights out. And oh, we're doing this, this waving thing to, like, the song. And I've, I've done that every time since. So, yeah. Yeah, it's been sick. I did it at a warehouse project in Manchester on Friday. That was amazing. Like, I did it, I've done it a couple of times and it's just looked like unreal. So, yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's touched a lot of people uh, yeah. through that. And that's, I suppose that's my way of kind of promoting it in a sense and just kind of going, look, man, I want you to really listen to this in it and, and actually just take this in. Uh, and it's more than just like a song. So I've been ending every set with it and it's just been getting received really well. So I'm really excited to get that, that out. And um, yeah, hopefully that will be able to kind of connect uh, even more with my more drum and bass following because mm. uh and hopefully uh uh others man so yeah. yeah that's how you make a difference that is how you're gonna make a difference and it's, it's the only way i know how to man yeah. through, through music man so if i can help some people and then yeah i've i've i'm doing i'm doing something right i feel 
Fucking right, mate. I can't wait. Well, nice work. Honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you, man. Yeah, you um, too, bro. Yeah, it's been fucking great. When can we, where can we find you on the social medias and all that sort of caper? Just Turno. Turno, T-U-R-N-O. Like, if you type that in, like, yeah, Turno underscore thing on Instagram and Turno DJ on Facebook and Twitter, etc., etc. But yeah, if you put Turno in, it'll come up with, with, with my socials, man. Amazing. Lovely. Thank you, mate. I really appreciate you coming on. Respect, brother.